Hi, right, welcome back to my channel, Richard Fisk here, and today I'm going to do something I've never done before, and the reason I'm going to do it is because the other day I did a video on uh, how to change your home point, only because I was on a uh, takeoff point right near a, a viewpoint and I was scared that the drone was going to fly off on a return to home basis and end up in the sea. So I've never done this before, let's do uh, <laughs> another return to home test, but this time it's with the Mavic Air 2, which is a bloody brilliant drone, and I reckon this has got laser position landing, whatever it's got in it, sensors at the bottom, and I reckon this is gonna come back and land on this little towel thing here. So uh, let's give it a go. I'm interested to see if it come back. I reckon it's really bloody good because the other day, um, it actually almost crashed because it was so good. I'll uh, show that in a minute. So let's take off and good. see if it comes back. <laughs> Let's uh, go off up the road, as it were, up the field. Not worried about the camera quality here. I want to get to about uh, 50 or so meters away. So what is it, 70 meters? Right, let's do a return to home. I've never done one before, not uh, on camera as it were. So uh, I, I was talking the other day, you check out my video from before, how to set the home point if you want to change it from where it took off from, uh, three ways of doing it, etc. So this one is going to be a bit more interesting just to see how accurate it is. And I've got, <laughs> I've got an idea how to make this more interesting and more dangerous. So uh, here it comes. And we'll see, <laughs> just point the camera down. I know it goes down naturally anyway. Um, hopefully it won't register the camera too close. Um, and I've also put on the screen here, you can see crosshairs. So uh, we can see just how accurate this little baby is. Down it comes. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. I'm hoping it's not gonna land on top of me. We will see. It's off slightly. It looks like it's gonna come down on top of my head, actually. But we'll see if it actually uh, readjusts. Let's move things out of the way. Keep going, come on. Here it comes. Go on. I might have to move out of the way. Aircraft, I'm safe, okay, I'm probably too close. Now uh, let's bring it down and I'm just hitting down on the down stick now. I was too close. Hmm. All right, that was attempt number one. Let's try again. Sticks. Take off. Home point has been updated. I'm going to send it off this way now. Here we go. I just want to get an idea of how accurate this is. Because like the other day, I was a bit worried that it wasn't going to come back and, you know, land on the right point. All right, here we go. Return to home. Take two. Here it comes. And we'll see, fingers crossed. I think it's gonna land right about here. Because if this is accurate, I don't have to worry about, um, you know, like I did the other day, trying to move it from one home point to another, where I was on the cliff face and uh, whatever. Oh, come on. Let's see if it lands on the orange tail. Well, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, let's take this out of the way. Let's do another one. Take off. Right, I'm trying to listen for the little voice. Now, if any of you can find out or tell me why I don't get that voice anymore, the Mrs, I call her Mrs. DGI, telling me the home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. But let me know in the comments below. You see, look, it's been recorded, but there's no comment. All right, never mind. Let's go off over there and do another test. Right, it's um, 50 meters away. Hit the return to home. And see if it comes back. And then it comes. Let's put the camera down so you can see.
There we are. It may land on the camera. <laughs> also, it comes down in the same orientation that it took off from. That's bloody good, don't you think? That's like, that's spot on. That's like laser precision. It's got bloody, it's got lasers on the bottom of this thing. I love it, I absolutely love it. Anyway, thanks for watching. And maybe I'll do some more. I might do a little test on a more dangerous area, maybe involving some water and an edge. But um, I'm impressed with that.